Hey there, this is Dr. Linda Burke. I'm a board certified OBGYN physician and author of a prenatal book. And I have 35 years of OB clinical experience. I call it OB wisdom. So I wanna talk about something that I, I witnessed in one of these social media groups that basically blew me away because they, they were just giving out advice like they were physicians and, and no one was a physician in there, no one was a midwife, but yet they were dropping you know, this information that was totally incorrect. There was a woman in the group, I'll call her Lainey, she has given me permission to talk about her situation. She was pregnant for the second time, the first pregnancy ended you know, at 37 weeks because she had preeclampsia. With this pregnancy, she developed something called the HELP syndrome and unfortunately had to be delivered at 25 weeks and the baby passed away. So of course she was devastated. Uh, she asked her physician if she was a high risk patient and he told her no and, and he was wrong because she clearly was a high risk patient. But what was blowing my mind was the information that she was receiving in this group. They told her that she was not a high-risk patient for nefarious reasons, and they were wrong. They told her that she did not need um, to see uh, an MFM, which is a maternal fetal medicine specialist, uh, OB, who specializes in high-risk pregnancies. They told her that, you know, based on what she said, she didn't need one, and she obviously, definitely needed one. They also told her, and normally I stay in my lane, you know, I don't really get into conversations with people, but after they told her that the death of her baby was inevitable because she had, um, she had uh, the HELP syndrome, which is one of the worst types of, of preeclampsia uh, variants, there was nothing you could do about it. That's when I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna have to talk to her because I had a patient who was 27 weeks and I delivered her at 27 weeks because she had the HELP syndrome. This 27 weeker that I delivered is now a grown woman, probably with children of her own. So that was total misinformation. So I pulled it to the side. And, and let me also add that this young lady looked like me and the people who were giving her this misinformation, most of them did not look like us. I pulled it to the side and I said, sweetie, let me, let me give you the playbook on the things that you need to do. Number one, you need to get your prenatal records from your, your physician before they mysteriously disappear. Number two, you need to have someone, an expert, look at the prenatal records to see if there were any mistakes. Um, and if there were mistakes, you might want to talk about obtaining legal representation. Number three, you need to uh, get connected to a support group that deals with infant loss because this is a very difficult space that you have to now navigate. I told her also that if she should become pregnant again, she's definitely a high-risk patient and she should be seen by an MFM and they will handle her, you know, they will manage her appropriately and hopefully the outcome will be different. If any of you have any questions or things about pregnancy that you do not understand, number one, talk to your provider. But after talking to your provider, if you still feel like you need more information, then please come to me. Our discussion will not be a patient physician discussion because I'm not your doctor. I will not be your doctor, but I can certainly give you my personal opinion because I don't want anyone to go through what Lainey went through. And especially, please come to me before you go into these social media groups because they're not physicians or they're not midwives. They may have experienced a problem, but it doesn't give them the right to give out misinformation. So if you feel like you've received value from the things that I talked about today, then definitely please subscribe to my channel and I definitely look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.